Today's a snow day, yay, and I was really bored, so I thought I'd make a video. What is worse than eating ice cream on a snow day? Eating ice cream with a fork just doesn't work. And yet, I had to do it because all of our spoons were in the dishwasher. You know what I just noticed? Reflection in my glasses. <laughs> no. Much better. So, Brittany sent me a picture today, and she brought up a really good point. This is unacceptable. Who lets these things be on the internet anyways? I mean, why does he have to look like that? He's just so gorgeous. Ah. And now, for something new. This is a random day book review. This is a random day book review. So I started this book Saturday, and it was I got done with it today. Really, really good book. Okay, the book is "Don't You Wish" by Roxanne St. Clair. It's really good. It's about <clears throat> this girl named Annie, who is a nobody pretty much, and she finds out about her, how her mom, before marrying her dad. Um, had a different boyfriend, and this boyfriend now in this life is really rich and owns this really big com plastic surgery company or something. And her dad is like an inventor, I guess, and they're not very, they don't have a lot of money or anything. And her mom and dad got in a fight, and she just wished she had a different life. And it's all pretty much based around. This whole book is pretty much based around this thing her dad invented, which is a mirror that um, tells you your ideal weight and body mass and, like, takes what you look like and recreates it to make you look different so you have a goal to set to where you want to be. And so pretty much it's all based on that. And she, her mom broke it because she was mad at her dad. And she had, like, one of the... A cell phone that had the picture that he took of her on the when she was on the mirror thingy, and um, she's crying and everything, and then lightning strikes it, and she wakes up in a parallel universe, and it's just about how her life in that parallel parallel universe and how she's trying to get back and how she is changing things and everything, and she ends up in a really popular girl's body and. It's, parallel universe her and how everything's just screwed up and she wish she really didn't go to this one let's just say it's a really good book and I'm not gonna spoil it but let's just say he remembers that's all I can tell you you have to read the book because it's really good oh and one four three you have to you'll get that if you read the book I love it how like a parent tells you go Put your stuffed animal somewhere. I'm like, no, I need a hundred of them. I want a hundred of them. Like my, you know, Julian Smith connection there. He's the bomb. I hope you guys are having a good day, and I'm going to go do whatever I do. Yeah.